that preparation is not being made for the risk of uh, another uh, cosmic impact. This is not theory, this is a fact. There's a comet up there. And responsible astronomers regard the torrid meteor stream as the greatest collision hazard facing mankind at the present time. If there's one space object that took the entire science community by storm, it's the Oumuamua. It sparked much interest from the moment it appeared on our radar. And as the years went by and scientists discovered more fascinating details about the strange object, it became one of the most discussed and investigated space objects. However, there wasn't adequate technology to reveal its appearance until the James Webb telescope came along. How did James Webb manage to capture the Oumuamua even though it's so far away? Where exactly is the Oumuamua now? What new facts about the Oumuamua have scientists learned from this new photo? Join us in this video as we tell you everything about how the James Webb Telescope just revealed first ever real image of Oumuamua. The Oumuamua was the first object that came into our solar system from outer space. At first, scientists thought it was just another asteroid wandering about in space, but its strange appearance gave a different impression. Asteroids are usually spherical or irregular shaped, and their shapes largely depend on their geological makeup. The Oumuamua, however, had a one-of-a-kind cigar shape and didn't move in a haphazard motion. Instead, it seemed to glide through space and at a fascinating speed. Right from the first time this space phenomenon came into our vicinity in the solar system, Astronomers realized that it moved too fast to be an asteroid. Asteroids, just like planets, orbit around the Sun at slow speeds. But the Oumuamua didn't appear bound to the Sun. Instead, it appeared to have a defined path. In all the decades since humanity started exploring space, we've never had any space object behave the way Oumuamua did. The fact that it came from interstellar space made it even more suspicious. Usually, we're the ones who send space probes, like the Voyager one, to visit interstellar space and discover things that we can't see from here with a regular telescope. So you can imagine the excitement when one of these faraway things ventured into our backyard in the solar system. The Oumuamua gave scientists a rare opportunity and they wasted no time pouncing on it. The first sighting of this visitor was on October 19th, 2017. It was discovered by Robert Warrick at the Halakala Observatory using the Pan-STARRS telescope. When the strange object started flashing like a beacon on the PanStar's radar, the team manning the telescope knew it was something from beyond our realm, so they named it Umuawa, meaning messenger from afar. The discovery of Umuamua was so monumental that the team quickly shared the discovery with the public. It was an exciting moment, humanity's first encounter with an extraterrestrial. But it was also a scary moment because, for some strange reason, this interstellar visitor seemed to be headed straight for Earth. You can imagine how much of a buzz the Oumuamua created when it was first discovered. Various conspiracy theories began to spread regarding its nature and its mission to Earth. Some thought it was an asteroid about to hit our planet. Others believed it was an alien spaceship in disguise. After it failed to prove it was an asteroid, the amazing speed of this object made some astronomers assume it was a comet. But again, this theory turned out to be wrong, as Oumuamua had no comet tail or gas. The alien spaceship theory began to spread when it was discovered that the Oumuamua sped up as soon as it got close to our sun. This was on September 9, 2017 when the Oumuamua accelerated to 196,000 miles per hour. It was as though the object was trying to escape the sun's scorching heat. Not only that, it maneuvered around the sun in a suspicious way, like it had a mind of its own. And even more mysterious was the fact that our sun's heat seemed to have no effect on it. A renowned astronomer supported this alien theory, postulating that the object was not propelled by any regular fuel, but by solar radiation. It was also assumed that the Oumuamua was built by an alien civilization far more advanced than ours, and they utilized a cloaking mechanism to make it appear like a space rock. It took quite a while for scientists to debunk the myth that the Oumuamua was an alien space probe. The unbelievable visitor from deep space is simply an expelled piece of another solar system from a faraway galaxy. Scientists believe its strange acceleration was caused by escaping hydrogen gas from its hydrogen-rich body. As it approached the sun, it warmed up, and the trapped hydrogen inside it escaped and gave it a push. So it turns out it was just a unique asteroid from an ancient interstellar planet, 
Oumuamua didn't behave like any of the comets or asteroids in our solar system because it's not from here. However, the more interesting aspect for scientists was not just the solving of this puzzle, but the discovery of actual images of the Oumuamua, thanks to the James Webb Telescope. Having a real image of the Oumuamua is a big deal, and the James Webb Telescope has helped unveil the real image of this space wonder. Since its launch, the remarkable James Webb Space Telescope has been instrumental in studying interstellar space objects. One of the telescope's exceptional abilities is that it can gather and analyze infrared light. Infrared light is important to astronomy because it reveals hidden details in images, thus making the investigation of celestial objects more profitable to astronomers. With infrared light wavelengths, we can comfortably detect the first stars and galaxies formed after the Big Bang. Also, the James Webb Telescope is equipped with state-of-the-art instruments that can observe objects that are too old or too distant for regular telescopes. The high-resolution and high-sensitivity instruments in the James Webb Telescope possess the unrivaled ability to clearly show even the faintest space objects or galaxies. This extraordinary sensitivity and power create a unique opportunity for scientists to comfortably explore the mysteries of interstellar objects in space. Just so you know, interstellar space is the space beyond our solar system, and it holds some of the most fascinating stuff we've found in space over the years. From black holes to monster galaxies, there's a lot we've found in interstellar space, and a whole lot more left to be discovered. Studying interstellar space components in detail to unravel their chemical composition and true nature is almost impossible from Earth. This is why before now, space probes like Voyager 1 were the only source of information about interstellar space mysteries. Thanks to the James Webb Telescope, now they can be studied from Earth in super detail. The James Webb Space Telescope's advanced suite of infrared cameras adds precision to the images of interstellar objects. With its keen eye, the telescope can show intricate details and paint vivid pictures of the gorgeous celestial bodies in interstellar space as they venture within our observational range. Another fascinating thing about James Webb is that if you cannot get the desired image in one photo, it can merge hundreds or even thousands of photos to create one super image that contains every little detail you ever need to see. If you've been paying attention, you will notice that there's been a spike in the number of space discoveries ever since the James Webb Space Telescope was launched. This is because this mega tool is capable of capturing the faintest and most obscure aspects of space and its ever elusive objects. The James Webb Telescope has made it easier for scientists to conduct groundbreaking research and unravel the mysteries hidden in the depths of the cosmos. But more than that, it also extends the frontiers of space exploration by allowing scientists to look into the depths of space at magnitudes and wavelengths that were previously impossible. This is why discoveries like the Phantom Galaxy and the Southern Ring Nebula keep popping up more frequently. This space breakthrough has opened up a realm of possibilities that allows us to push the boundaries of our knowledge and understanding of the universe. Although the James Webb Telescope has proven to be the best scientific breakthrough so far for space study, we can't ignore the value of other important tools like the PanSTARRS Telescope. After all, PanSTARRS Telescope discovered the Oumuamua in the first place. James Webb was only utilized to further research on the Oumuamua because it was best suited for that purpose. The PanSTARRS Telescope is stationed at the summit of Haleakala on the beautiful island of Maui, Hawaii. This telescope is the core player in the ambitious PanSTARRS project. The PanSTARRS project is a collaborative project involving esteemed institutions with a core goal of monitoring the sky for any strange astronomical phenomena, especially those that can potentially cause impact events. The PanSTARRS. One telescope is part of an elaborate system designed for wide field astronomical imaging. Its primary task is to conduct comprehensive night sky surveys and capture celestial objects in optical wavelengths. The telescope tirelessly scans the cosmos, from distant galaxies to elusive comets and asteroids. As it documents the wonders that populate our vast universe, it also surveys carefully to spot any objects that seem like potential threats to Earth. The PanSTARRS relies upon its special PS1 Image Processing Pipeline, IPP, to manage the immense volume of data collected during these surveys. 
IPP is a cutting-edge software that allows this space telescope to automatically process and analyze vast amounts of observational data so astronomers can then use advanced algorithms and computational techniques to uncover the secrets hidden within the thousands of celestial images captured by PanSTARRS. One remarkable aspect of the PanSTARRS-1 telescope is its mighty role in the PanSTARRS Near-Earth Object Survey. This is part of the PanSTARRS project, which focuses on scanning the entire sky to seek out near-Earth objects that seem like they may collide with our planet. This was how the Oumuamua was discovered. You see, the PanSTARRS wasn't exactly scanning for the Oumuamua, it just stumbled upon it while doing its job. Given the nature of the PanSTARRS' job, researchers had initially thought the Oumuamua was an asteroid headed toward Earth. After all, most space objects that hurtle in our solar system are asteroids, and the Oumuamua looked like one on the outside. However, as they began to collect and analyze data, they discovered this mysterious interstellar traveler was no ordinary asteroid, as it defied all the known and established patterns exhibited by asteroids in space. For instance, it could abruptly change its trajectory through space. The Oumuamua, which at first seemed to be set to collide with Earth, suddenly turned away as if it knew it had been detected. Things took a new turn when scientists realized that Oumuamua's speed was high. They needed to act urgently, otherwise this object would escape without us ever learning anything about it. Time was of the essence when the researchers found that they had a mere 11 days to learn as much as they could about this strange visitor before it drifted away for good. The researchers at PanSTARRS knew that any delay could ruin the one chance humanity had to understand the first-ever interstellar visitor. So they decided to seek help from a superior power, NASA. NASA wasted no time bringing in their big space guns to crack the Oumuamua mystery. They featured large telescopes that could accurately measure the object's dimensions and reveal its color and brightness. Every minute detail of Oumuamua's surface and structure was of paramount importance, which is why NASA made sure not to neglect even the smallest details. There was no time to analyze all the data, so NASA scientists focused on collecting as much data as possible. That way, they could process and study it later. Everyone knew that once the Oumuamua left the solar system, there might not be another opportunity to get data from it. And they were right. Since the Oumuamua left, there has been no way to contact or get signals from it. Not just that, since the Oumuamua, we haven't had many other interstellar space objects wander into our space. The only other object that astronomers have found besides the Oumuamua is the comet Borisov. Thankfully, we gathered much data before the Oumuamua left our part of space. However, the irony was that the more the scientists analyzed the data, the more confused they became. Instead of getting answers, scientists were left with more and more questions surrounding Oumuamua. Its unique attributes and puzzling behavior continued to confound researchers. It wasn't an asteroid, it wasn't a comet, and it wasn't a planet. Astronomers were used to the spherical or irregular shapes of space rocks. These unique rock shapes are usually due to the gravitational forces that come into play within space objects. In these objects, the atoms are attracted to a single gravitational pull which keeps the atoms compact and spherical. However, the harsh conditions in space and the collision with debris also influence the shapes of objects. This is why asteroids most times have irregular shapes. The sheer size of this interstellar visitor was equally mind-blowing. It had a radius of approximately 200 meters, and its length was about 10 times greater than its width. Such proportions were uncommon in our solar system, making Oumuamua a wonder space object. Further analysis proved that this object measured 115 by 111 by 19 meters. And even more puzzling was the later discovery that the Oumuamua was never really a cigar shape, but a pancake shape. This was controversial initially, and by the time it came to light, the cigar shape of Oumuamua had already been widely accepted worldwide. But it turned out that it was all about perception. If you were to see the Oumuamua from the side, it looked quite like a cigar, but from a top view, the pancake shape is undeniable. Adding to the confusion was that Oumuamua exhibited a distinct reddish hue. Usually, a reddish hue from a space object indicates that it's lying within the outer regions of our solar system. In those regions, the surrounding dust envelops the object and gives it a red appearance. But you see, the Oumuamua wasn't in those regions, and it had no traces of dust whatsoever. 
From what scientists could tell, this object was composed solely of rock and metals, no water, ice, or any of the other common components found in celestial bodies. All this was in addition to the fact that this massive space cigar was hurtling through our solar system at an astonishing speed of 85,700 miles per hour, and its velocity kept fluctuating throughout its journey. Scientists realized that the sun's gravitational pull drew this object towards itself, but then again, there seemed to be a second invisible force actively propelling or steering the interstellar object. Today, most people still believe this interstellar object was an alien space probe. If the Oumuamua was truly an alien probe, perhaps it was being steered from within. We'll never know. You see, try as they might, scientists couldn't fully discover why the Oumuamua moved the way it did. As we mentioned earlier in this video, the generally accepted theory is that it expelled hydrogen gas to propel itself so well in our solar system. But there are still some loopholes in this theory as well. However, one mystery of the Oumuamua they managed to tackle was where it came from. By carefully analyzing its speed and trajectory, scientists traced Oumuamua's origins back to the vicinity of the star Vega. The star Vega is another star just like our Sun in interstellar space, but it's 57 times brighter than our Sun. Astronomers have labeled it the brightest star in the northern constellation of Lyra. It is estimated that this star is about 455 million years and is almost halfway through its main sequence lifespan, after which it had become a red ball giant like the Betelgeuse. Although astronomers traced the Oumuamua back to Vega, the immense duration of its interstellar voyage suggested that Oumuamua must have already been very far ahead of Vega as when it was heading for our planet. In other words, the interstellar visitor had a head start for about 300,000 years, traveling at an average speed of 59,000 miles per hour en route to our solar system. Scientists believe that star Vega itself may not have been present in the region when Oumuamua passed through that region. What this means is that Oumuamua didn't come from Vega, but only passed by the direction of Vega long ago. This object is way older than the star Vega. The actual origin isn't confirmed at this moment, the search is still on. However, one study proposes a fascinating and very likely hypothesis. It suggests that Oumuamua is a fragment that originated from a much larger celestial body, most likely a star or planet millions of years ago. Some catastrophic events may have torn its home star apart and led to its creation. This theory provides a plausible explanation for the extraordinary characteristics displayed by Oumuamua. Another plausible study published in Nature Astronomy presents a theory that the Oumuamua may have formed under the influence of tidal forces similar to those experienced by Earth's oceans. But the pursuit of unraveling Oumuamua's secrets could have been more fruitful if it were still hanging around our solar system. Sadly, in January 2019, it left our solar system, moving toward the distant constellation of Pegasus. Astonishingly, as it got further away from the Earth, it accelerated until it disappeared completely from view. Just as it had done in our solar system, it kept fluctuating speeds, making it hard for observers to track it as it sped away. The Oumuamua is faster than any rockets or space probes we have currently. So, right now, it's all up to the James Webb Space Telescope to collect data from this mysterious once-upon-a-time space visitor. If there's one scientific tool that can track and monitor the Oumuamua, it's the JWST. The fact that the telescope broke the limits of space exploration when it retrieved information from 28 billion light-years away from Earth proves that it's more than capable of collecting data from the Pegasus constellation, which is merely 700 light-years away. But given the crazy speed of the Oumuamua, there's a chance it may still manage to slip out of the James Webb Telescope's sight. What do you think? Will the James Webb Space Telescope once again make history and solve the Oumuamua mystery completely? Kindly share your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.